impressive shit. So impressive. Like, I would have given up within th- not even a day. That's, we were discussing this, and I, I would have, uh, I would have tried the first hundred, probably got to 14 kilometres. Oh, nah. Not for me. Nah. Not for me. Thanks. But it's all in his brain, Judge. And that's what I mean. He must have the strongest willpower I've ever seen in my whole entire life. Some people are just built diff. Yeah, he's Bro- one of them. Brockman's built diff. Yeah. You he's know what like I mean? a walking Superman. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Superman traditionally known for not walking, not being able to walk. Yeah, but he's like, you know, like God's gift. A little crush on Brockman. No, no. Nettie listens to. Oh, does he? Yeah, he follows the podcast. Oh, yeah, he does. He yeah. Follows well, us. Maybe he was listening to it while he was running. Probably not. That would have potentially turned him off the 100Ks a day. Yeah, I can't, can't see that, how that would have helped you, mate. But fuck, if you did, cheers, we love it. Yeah, I, I just loved watching the updates every day. It was just like, a, I felt like I was on the run with him some days. It was like yeah, an emotional yeah, yeah. roller coaster. I truly think that he's inspired, he's so many inspired people. a nation. Do you, want, do you want me to tell you something? Yesterday, I went for my first run in a long time. You thinking Nettie? And I got to about 4Ks, and that's usually when I stop. Mm. And I thought, if Ned fucking Brockman can run 100Ks a day, you can run another 2Ks, Louisa. Love that. And then I just, zoom. No. Yeah, keep going. Did 6Ks. Mate, that's fucking grouse. I mean, it ain't a hundred, I mean. but it's, oh, the, it's look, the inspiration that got me. You would have been a four. You would have hit four k's, knocked off if yeah. not for Ned. Not for Ned. That's what I mean. And dude. he also how good that I was so happy that he raised over a million dollars for um, one point five. Yeah, one point five since yesterday. Probably more now. Everyone, it'll just keep going, which is fucking awesome. It's fucking grouse. So good. Good work, mate. Proud of you, Ned. Good country boy too. Hey, cheers to Ned. Hey, with cheers our to Ned. Cheers to you, Ned Brockman. So proud that you're a bedwetter. Mm. Yes, he's you know technically what I mean? a bedwetter. So he probably wet his pants a few times on the run. I de- I guarantee he did. Yeah. He might be one of the great bedwetters. Most days, perhaps. See, this is the thing, bedwetters, if you're listening. You know, people might be new to the podcast and think that a, a bedwetter is a, um, a negative term. Mm. No, no, no. There's a spectrum of bedwetters. There's bedwetters like Lou and I that... Yeah, you could perceive it as being negative because mm-hmm. we're a couple of fuckwits. Yeah. But then you've got people like Ned Brockman who are bedwetters. You right? want to be one of them. You want to be, that's kind of a bedwetter. Yeah. Openly pissing yourself on the road. Yeah. <laughs> on the main highway with trucks coming past. Now that is a phenomenal bedwetter. I've got a, I've got a feeling that Ned would see a big B-double coming or just a line of cars and that's when he'd choose to piss. He'd just go for it. He'd go... I've been waiting to piss for the last three hours. Now there's people coming by. I'm going to do it. We should get him a trophy that's like 2022 bedwetter. We should. <laughs> One of my mates actually snapped a photo of him yesterday taking a piss. Oh. Yeah. On the road. No, just uh, by a tree. Just by, yeah. I love how he did a shoey when he arrived. Yeah, I love that too. Doesn't that just sum up Australia as, as a nation? Well, I did them in New Zealand as well. So let's not claim shoeys. Australia, Shoeys are an Australian thing. No, Judge, I've been called Shoey Louie since I was 16. Yeah, My but party trick. Mate, we were drinking out of thongs since we were fucking 15, and I'm older than you. Yeah, but your nickname's not Shoey Louie, so I'm obviously very good at Shoeys. Yeah, but the Kiwis, you, you're very influenced by Australia, so you've taken it from Mate, us. Mate, you guys stole Vegemite. We made Marmite first. Bullshit. And you know how you guys always go, uh, Pavlovas are Australian. That's a Kiwi thing, mate. Have them. You can have them. You're not a Pavy fan. Don't mind them. You probably need one of Jill's Pavs. Really? She, well, she's better at a tiramisu, but she makes a pretty good Pav. What's a tiramisu again? Caramel. The Italian Coffee. one. Coffee. Yeah. I'm not a fan. My uncle Luigi used to love them. Mario? I think Mario dabbled. Mario had a gold tooth. Fuck. <laughs> Shit gets better. Mm. And better. Amazing. Did yeah. he? Yeah. Gold tooth. I've always said that if I have to get a tooth out or something like that, or, you know, I wouldn't get one of those flash ones that it look real, I'd get a gold one. Well, imagine if I had that on my fake veneer. It looked fucking mad, I reckon. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> Mario, but yeah, he had a gold tooth. Do you know, I was talking to mum, messaged me about last week's podcast, and she was laughing. She <clears> thought <throat> your 
kid's story when you punched the shit out of your brother was hilarious, which is surprising for the oh, Jill. Jill. But I think she probably remembered our childhood and thought my brothers would do the same. But it, Maybe Jill's warming to me. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if you stop dropping the C word every second <laughs> every second sentence, she might. Well, I'm a country boy. Yeah. She, um, we, we remembered the story of when we would all go to my nono and nonas on a Sunday and they would do like a beautiful pasta. They'd be cooking it from the night before, like the sauce. Like it was phenomenal. Like yeah. not, you know, something out of this world. And we'd all arrive and, you know, I'd be jumping around and Nonna would be, you know, out of the kitchen, out of the kitchen. Well, in his Italian accent. And mum arrived and she would do what she normally do. She walked up to the counter and would plop her handbag down and, you know, hi, hi Nonna, hi Nonna. And then Nonna just blows up in Italian. Him and Franco were just going off in Italian, like, ah, oh, you know, ciao, ciao, bella, whatever. Yeah, yeah, calling each other beautiful, saying goodbye, beautiful. Yeah, goodbye, beautiful. Yeah. No, and we're all going, what the fuck's going on? And then Franco goes, um, Jill, could you remove your handbag from the gnocchi? And mum, so with gnocchi, you put like a tea towel down in the gnocchi in the middle. Yeah. And then a tea towel over top for it to like, you know, like homemade gnocchi. Okay. And so Jill had got her handbag, walked in and just plopped it down on the bench, thinking that it was just a tea towel, and she'd squashed oh, the, the gnocchi. gnocchi. Oh. And for an Italian, like, normal. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's pure blasphemy. So that was um, not fun for Jill with her parents-in-laws. <laughs> Poor Jill. Nothing worse, like, nothing worse than, like, your parents-in-laws. Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Parent-in-laws. Pa- your in-laws. Yeah. Parents-in-law. Parents-in-law. Sister-in-law. It is. I guess it's parents-in-law. Parents-in-law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To be like overtly cranky. The fact that he wanted to gnocchi her out for doing that. Thank you. you as soon Thank as I you. said the word gnocchi, you were waiting for that. Thank you. No, it just came to me. Okay. But like having... Su- it's like when you go over to a friend's place, you know, as a kid and you were being naughty... And your friend's mum was angry at you and they like yelled at you. You were like, oh, I done fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, if you're getting in trouble from someone else's parents. It's. It bad. Real bad. Real bad. I can't believe. Yeah, Jill would have felt like. Go on. Get another gnocchi pun out. (laughs) She would have to gnocchi up a new batch. (laughs) Hey, but at least it's all in the past, huh? Ah, yeah. that was good. <laughs> I'll give you that one, you, you fuckwit. Thank you. Hey, um, I've had you've had an eventful few days. I'd like to touch on oh. that. But last night for me was um my second drama course. Oh, please. So the first one last week when I spoke on the podcast, I was pretty nervous for it because I imagined it was just we were going to arrive and I'd be like, okay, everyone, jump up and space jump. Okay, space Lou, jump, yeah. Lou, you're a supermarket checkout girl and there's a a man's coming with a gun and then I've got to act out a scene. Wasn't like that at all. It was like you got a script. You got up there, or you learnt it, and then you got up there and you went over it probably three times with everyone sitting down watching and the director or acting coach like te- te- teaching you through it. Okay. So it was actually, I actually really enjoyed it because I'd love to be oh, on that's like good. Home and Away or something. And so that was last week's and I did a, um, a script of like I was getting interrogated or something. My husband had shot someone or something. Yeah. And then this week I got paired with um, Tim. So he is hilarious. He runs... One of the meme pages, Worthless Twink. You know, when you get the giggles and you 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 can't stop. Like, everything was funny to us. It yeah, was yeah, fucked. Yeah. And I we were doing that. this scene and we were we were two, we thought we were cops and then we got up there to perform it and the director was like, well, to start off, you're lawyers. So we were like, okay. <laughs> but we, everything was funny to us. So we started doing the the scene and then he was doing it like Mr. Mr. G. So he was like, where have you been, Peter? <laughs> And then I was like, that's so negative. And we just, we couldn't stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we started kind of like almost doing it. It was like a musical. And then everyone else was taking it so seriously though. So then we got up there after we'd seen the scene where they were doing like a breakup and like yelling at each other. And then him and I like, so, and trying to get our words out and just being like. <laughs> Dude. It was so bad. I kn- so bad. I knew you, I knew you, this would be an. In your wheelhouse. Mm. I knew it. But the the one of the things the acting coach said to me that kind of stuck with me, he was like, do you think that you can't be serious, Lou, because you're 
you're like seen as like the clown. You don't have like a serious side. And I was like, I actually don't think that's true. Like you know me, I'm a bit of a a bit of a prankster, a bit of a joker. You could say I'm, you know, the class clown. But you've also seen a serious side of me. Like yeah, I'm not of one of those people where it's like I've only got one switch and I'm hilarious twenty four seven. No, that's definitely not the case. Is your friend Millie enjoying it? Loving it. She did phenomenal last night. So she, she a good actor? Really good. So she did a scene with another guy and they were, it was like a brother and sister yelling at each other and the she had slept with her brother's boss and it was like, they didn't even need any direction. It was that good. So for the bedwetters listing this bird, Millie, one of those friends is the is the bird on Instagram, Millie, Gra- Millie, Millie or on TikTok. Yeah, and she does the teacher impressions. F- like? Like phenomenal. Like, so bang on. You can tell that she's got a really good observational yeah. eye. Yeah. When she did it and she's swinging those fucking keys that every teacher has, those th- 300 keys on a lanyard, yeah. I was like, this Like, chick? everyone knows a teacher like that. Yeah. But, yeah, she's very good. Like, she can switch to that serious side um, much more than Tim and I could last night because we just had the giggles. But, you know, when you, you can't – and then the rest Nothing of the better. night, it was bad, though, because then the rest of the night, like, something serious would happen or people would do, be doing a serious scene and him and I would just catch each other's eye and just yeah. be like <laughs> – Like, we were honest – I felt like a kid again. Yeah, that's – Like, in high yeah, school yeah, and yeah, Andy, yeah. the teacher would turn around and kind of, like, look at us every now and then and we'd just try and put on the serious face. I'd love to watch it back. So would I. Absolute shit show. But I'm hoping next week they give me something a bit more serious. Like, you know, like I want to be getting some emotion. Because what the acting coach does is he deep dives into your past trauma, basically. So it is like fucking the psychiatrist. Kind of. Like last night he he deep dived into someone's like past and um, like heartbreak. And then this chick's like her performance was like. 50 times better from deep diving into that heartbreak. And I'd love to do it. I'm going to beep his name because he was addicted to affairs. Remember one of those guys I dated yeah. when I was like 21? If I could deep dive back into the moment of when I found out about his 45 affairs, yeah. I'm sure I could put on a show. Do it now. You. You texting her again. I saw you out back. Passion in the club. Oh, yeah. You'll be on Home and Away in no time. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> and singing lesson update. Mm. How we... I've got the song. I I think we keep that in the chamber. In the chamber? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I want you to tell me, but I think... Yeah. It's a surprise. I'm, um... If I'm completely honest... Actually, I don't even want you to tell me. Okay, I won't tell you. I'm terrified because... Because you're all, no good? You're coming to the realisation. I've, I've almost come to the realisation <laughs> that perhaps I am tone deaf. Oh, no. Which hurts because <laughs> in the moment, Jarch, when I sing, what I hear in my head and when I watch the recordings back is very different. <laughs> this is... Very, very different. Look, this was, to be fair, the point I was trying to get across. I believe mm. I, there's a video of us, of me saying, yes. I love you. I think you're tone deaf. Yeah. And you said, no, Jarch, my dream is to perform in front of a big crowd. Yeah. I go, that's fine to have the dream, but... Well, the dream, have the, voice. the dream is happening, Jarch, because I will be performing you're in dead, front of the crowd. You're account. dead right. It just depends on how well. How well. Yeah, so, look, I think I don't want to get obliterated drunk, but I would like to be that confident, perhaps five tequilas and two shots deep. Yeah, you'll need something in you. Yeah. You're going to need something and I, in you. And I think I'll, um, like, the singing teacher said to me, you've got to do a female song, but when I'm in my car singing... Backstreet Boys, everybody. Mm. It's good. Well, it's not. It it, is. No, that's one that it is kind of good. All right, we'll give... give. Now let me get to the chorus. Um, hang on. Am I everything you yeah. Am I everything you need? You better rock your body now. Everybody. <laughs> yeah. Rock your body. Don't, no? do, that. Don't do that one. I imagined me <laughs> I imagined me at the bar in like normal clothes and then no one else knows and then it's nearly my time to sing and I go to the bathroom and I come in like a tracksuit like L E G. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like but cause because I think the way it'll work is because you just put your name down on a list. So just check which who's pe- what, what people are above you on the list. 
so you know what songs are coming up, so you know when you're ready to go. Yeah. And then you go in, you get changed, like Eminem, fucking yeah. spaghetti mm. sort of shit. I, I'd like almost if you could introduce me. I'm sure we can make so that work. So like, it's like a, a boxing match. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like my come out song. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, we could do that. You, yeah. the big dog over in the corner there, I can see it in your eyes. You're a bit sad. Yeah, there's You're a bit low. Your dopamine's a bit low today. Been a bit on, yeah. Maybe I'll see if I can get some trauma out of you and you could perform an acting scene for us. That's how I reckon you'd be able to. Yeah. I spoke to Ollie Arch and he said Friday was large, Saturday was large. Yeah. 5 a.m. is. Well, we he also went up Thursday night. Yeah, the sick fuck. He's a different breed. Till 5 a.m. We, uh, he did three in a row. We had our mate Eddie, Eddie's Bucks. Hello oh, Sport. Hello fame. Sport, yep. Um, we had his bucks in Palmy, and it was a fucking nudge. You pushed the boat out. It was a real nudge. Were you one of the last standing? Or, or on bloody Friday? F- <laughs> Friday? You did that last week. Friday. I said for five. You said for Friday. Living it. Yeah. Fuck. On Friday. I was on Saturday because oh, I was crook. So I woke up Saturday morning and my voice, I was talking like that. Um, it was gone. It only took like, you know, a coffee and a few waters and like. A couple of vapes. Just lube up that throat. Yeah. Cut me a few vapes, a couple of lung busters. Yep. Lube it back up. But my voice was fucked. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm crook. I'm still crook. Knocked me about a bit. But the, um, you see, so you saw my Instagram story yesterday, obviously. Yeah, I want to know. So I had to post an Instagram story yesterday, which I really didn't want to do. But this is how, obviously, how much my brain had the scaries. And the Instagram story simply said, to the blokes I met in the pokies room at the um, RSL in Palmy on the weekend, please DM me. What did you do? So I'm sitting there having a slap. Mm-hmm. A slap a A little slap a A little slap slap? Which you don't mind doing. A little slap. I love a little slap I'm having a little slap. Sometimes when I'm at a big shindig like that, I... I like to take time to myself. Yeah. So I go and get myself a rum or coke, a rum and coke, or two rum and cokes, and I go and pick a pokey machine. I'm not a big punner, but I'll say you've got a hundred bucks, mate. Yeah. Go off. There's your limit. Go and have some fun. Yeah. Just with yourself. Okay. Yeah. So you <laughs> you budget yourself and you. I budget myself. Uh-huh. That's nice. Sit down, sit, and I might if you're it's a smoking room, I might have a little, you know, little Rooney. Because I, I do like to um, smoke when I drink. I yeah, old I'm not Winnie a smoker, Blue. But yep. Yeah. Anyway. Fucking sitting there and these young boys come up. They must have been talking to Tom and Eddie and they're like, Jachi, how you going, mate? I'm like, how you going, boys? My demographic. 22 to 35-year-old men is my is my core demo. And they're like, how you going, mate? And yeah, good. And we're just sort of yarning and spinning some yarns, having a couple of laughs or whatever. Anyway, still slapping away. They go out for a smoke or something. One of them comes back in and he's like, Josh, can I ask a favour of you, mate? I said, yeah. And he goes, mate, um, we can't seem to get cash out. For some reason, and keep in mind, I am fucking rat shit at this stage. Mm -hmm. Like, I am blind. Mm -hmm. He's like, we can't get cash out. Could I transfer you some money and you get cash out for us? I'm like, no sweat, bud. How much you want? Grand. Oh, my God. Even my... I'm like a dumbass and even my brain is going ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Probably don't do this. Yeah. And I go, not a problem. You think you're Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. I'm like... You think you're a fucking billionaire. I'm like, what the fuck? If he'd asked me yesterday, I'd be like, bro, I can't. I don't have enough money. But it was payday Friday. Mm, little Jarch, he thought, you know what? Okay. This yeah. is my core demographic. Sure. But I, yeah. Treat the followers. Treat the... Yeah, I'll treat you. And... um. But I was like, but mate, I've got to do it. You know what I mean? So I'm on some app. I'm like, have you got those ones that send it to you straight away? No, I'm with the Regional Bank of Australia. I don't know if those things work with that bank, but like the Oscars and shit. But I'm on something and I'm putting my details in. And um, I seemingly send the money. But to be fair, in my brain, I can't remember. Like, I can't remember that. Sending it. And I didn't get his number. I didn't take a photo of the transaction. Didn't do any of that shit. I was like, righto, mate. Yeah, she seems to be transferred. All good. Go to the thing, get the money out, give him the cash, and then completely forget that I've even done that. Check the account on Monday, you know, which is a scary thing to do, as it is. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, fuck, she's a bit low there. And I'm like, oh. That's right. I gave that fucking kind of grand. 
And I'm like, oh my God. And then I'm like, I, I kind of feel sick. I'm like, oh my days. So I, I'm like, oh, it probably just hasn't come in yet. But you know, like the anxiety of that. So I'm checking like every 15 minutes. Yeah, because like 100, 200 bucks, you might go. It is what it is. It is what it is. It's not going to ruin you. A thousand dollars? thousand bucks. Excuse me? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm just checking and checking. Do you do you think that they, like, if the money obviously doesn't come in and they haven't DM'd you, do you think that they were doing it on purpose to fuck you over? But that's the thoughts that come into your brain. Yeah. So I was thinking, I reckon, like, they saw how, like, pissed I was and, like, these blokes are fucking just being like, oh, fuck, let's see if this dumb cunt will do this. Yeah. And, um, and he did. And I did. Lo and behold, everything was fine. Like, by about 2.30 in the Arvo, I checked my account. It was in. $1,000. And I, I cannot explain to you the relief of that. It was, it, like... Yeah. Jachi wouldn't have been eaten all week. Dirt, like... Jachi would have been over at Lulu's for Marley Spoon. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plug. <laughs> Plug. Send that audio to the to the <coughs> advertiser. Yeah, you want to sponsor something? Right? Hey, David, my manager. Send that to them. <laughs> by the way, Lou's got a manager. Big deal sort of stuff. Hey, mate, you've got a manager. Yeah, I just, way don't, I just don't brag about it. <laughs> I'm up. humble. I'm hum. No, ah. I'm actually not. <laughs> well, I reckon if you, I reckon honestly, if you went back through every single <laughs> podcast, I would say, in every single podcast, I'm really good at it about something. I love that you raise that because. I've been listening back. I like because I like to listen back to things to critique them. Mm. I don't really like listening to to the podcast. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or watching my own shit. But I will. I thought my pants had ripped. Everything all right? I just checked my um, vagina to see if my pants had ripped. They haven't. Carry on. And run me through why you thought that. Because the 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 Lulu lemons and there's a little oh, I'm like Lulu. <laughs> Lulu, Lulu, That's Lulu, what you Lulu are. Lemons. You're a fucking lemon. Your yeah. Name is and Adrian. they um have like almost a little rip. So I just had to. Check that, you know, the camera can't see my vagina. <laughs> and tops, we're clear. Yep. Play on. Clear. No, no V we'll on know, show. We'll know if they can't see your vagina because tops would just be over there just cranking one out. <laughs> and this is why my mother will, will message me today saying, love the podcast apart from when Jarch said that. Love the podcast apart from, like, the whole judge speaking. Yeah, thing. apart from judge, just in general. <laughs> anyway, you could just do we mean well with Lulu. <laughs> just cut, just cut, judge. I, I mean well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck okay. So. Anyway, carry on. Tell me what you're listening. You're li- listening back about me saying I'm yes, good at everything. And I had that revelation because I'd say something and you go, "Oh, judge, I'm really good at." Blank, but, and I'm like, lol. But I, I like don't even register I'm doing it until I've said it. Like I am being dead set serious. No, I know you are. It's fucked. I know you are. Yeah. But uh, this is, as we say, that with the bedwetters, you know, as a community, we are here Tearing to me ultimately down. humble you. Yeah. And I think it's working. Oh, I get a lot of DMs just people ripping the shit of me and then going wrecked. But you also get a lot of DMs of people calling you hot and shit. I've had a couple of nice ones lately, but also a couple of creeps. That's that comes with the territory, doesn't it? Yeah, I do have um one guy who relentlessly DMs me, and he'll just be like, "Hey Lou, just wanted to say, have a great day." Fuck, mate. And like, you know, that's pretty it kind. Is, I know it is, but you know, brightens my day. But and then one guy respond. Uh, so sometimes I'll just double like it, or you know, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. I got another guy who is always like, "I'd love to, um, you know." Do a bonfire with you and bring you to the farms. And I thought, mate, if I'm doing my first farm trip in Australia, it's to bloody Walker. Hundred percent. Not going to fucking wherever our old mates from. Yeah. Hey, you go to the Walker races? The G Bungs. Yeah. I can't. I got a mate's wedding. I might go. Get fucked. Yeah. What, with, with who? Well. Invite only, doll. Is it actually? Yeah. It's the last private races in Australia. They're oh. fucking deadly. <laughs> I drive Gianni out there and I just imagine him going over the gravel. It's just like spraying up with like dirt. Do you know what I mean? And then I no, come, no, I come back and Gianni's just like covered in dirt. And everyone's like, where you been, Lou? The farms. <laughs> you see those wheels? <laughs> covered in dirt, mate. The farms. You don't get that around mm. the eastern suburbs. <laughs> and then I come back and I've just got like a twang and all I drink is VBs and stubbies. Hey, that's a real generalisation for people Sorry. in the country, mate. Okay, I come Pretty back. Pretty disgusting stuff. I come back... Um, just normal. <laughs> Same as you were before. Yeah, but yeah, just yeah. been to a farm. 
Just with a hat on. Maybe I go and just stay at your parents' house. You could do that. They would. Oh, they would let me. Hundred percent. They fucking. Are would. they going? I dare say so. I'll yeah. probably just go with them. You could. I might. Ned would love that. <laughs> yeah, boys, boys weekend, and then you just go and stay with my parents and just show up. Rock up, g'day, lads. What a surprise. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys want a rum and coke? Yeah, I'll get around. First one's on me. How about we hit the pokies next? Slap a rooney. <laughs> slap, slap. <laughs> fucking punt. Oi. Oos. Oos. They're fucking good fun. Yeah. Because it's, it's held on a, a bloke's property. So there's mm. no more private race. So it's like... Can I tell you? It's what's none of that fucking mid-strength bullshit. You take all the all like the country wives cook like their best dish. So you've just got like this is sounding, bruh. It's like so you just got food for everywhere. Fucking rum swinging. Delicious. I'm imagining potato bakes. Also, for some reason, going round and round in my head right now is camels racing. No, no camels. No camels. No camels. Horses. H- all horses. Yeah, in my head, I'm like imagining like jockeys on humps. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. You know you can dri- drive camels in Port Stephens. Ride them. Ride them. Yeah, right. Yeah, well, there's fucking heaps of camels in Australia. It's a bit weird. In my head, that's in Egypt. Really? Dude, yeah. we've got like, there's like, they're a pest. I'd like to ride one. I'd like to like shoot one. No, aren't yeah. they like, I was about to say antiques. <laughs> <laughs> no, they hunt camels and shit. They destroy no, them. they like, don't. Yeah, they do. Can you eat a camel? I dare say so. Oh, oh, mm, uh, question, um, thought, pattern. I went to a festival on Saturday in the Hunter Valley. I drove Gianni, proud of myself. Proud of you. Beep, beep, two hours. Um, I saw a dead cami. No, sorry, a dead kangaroo on the road. No. It was really sad. Oh, my God. It was so sad. It was just squashed. <laughs> Mate, they're everywhere. No, not for me. I'm st- I haven't seen that because I don't leave the east. That's correct. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah, so I went to a festival and it was dead. And I went, no! And also, because you know how I don't drive long distance very far? So this was first Johnny's first trip away and my first trip away, me driving. Uh, I make it sound like I'm 12. Our first road trip, me and Gianni, my fucking partner, it's my car. Um, and we were going <laughs> down the hill and my housemate Gemma came with me. Great festival, by the way. We went to Grapevines. Uh, um, and my car, and I'm going, ah! I'm going, it's shaking! It's shaking! And she's going, are you braking? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, that's why it's shaking. So I was braking going down the hill and Gianni's going, Zzzz. but it's because I was braking. I thought he was literally about to just, Pow! in the Sounds middle like of the- Sounds like you might need new brake pads. That's what Gemma said. Yeah. Where do I get those? Just, Automotive shop. I think you just go to a mechanic and you Why get don't I just go to Super Cheap Auto and put them in myself? I can, could. Change, I can change my own oil and I can change my own water. I don't fuck around. Okay. Are you dropping the oil? Putting it in the tank. Right, so you're not changing it. No, uh, Judge, you put it in, you pull it out, you wipe it with a tissue, you ch- put it put ch- it back in, and then you go, yep, she's good, chuck them back in, and then you fill up the water. I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, Judge. You're checking your oil. I'm changing yeah. it. Well, I could change it if I wanted. I know which hole it goes in. I'll tell you one thing. Same. <sighs> when I go to the um, petrol station to fill up Gianni, and I open up, I pop my bonnet and I put it up and I'm like checking my water, changing my oil, you know. Mm. I feel pretty cool. Do you? Because people are looking around going, that this chick, chick knows yeah, what she's doing. She knows her shit. And one time a guy came to me and he goes, you need a hand love? And I was like, no, nah, no, nah, mate. I know what's up. 2022, motherfucker. Yeah, I'll fucking put my own water in. You want this hand, mate? Yeah, back yeah, off. Yeah, back Oi, off. you. You want an uppercut? I box. Us. <laughs> back your truck that up, is, mate. Look, that is, re- I wouldn't have picked you as a bird that could do that. It's relatively impressive. Yeah. One time I was in like an all white outfit about to go out and I did it. I got this. With Steph's car, she had it for like eight years and just never got it serviced. That's I what, don't know how. Yeah, that's what happened with Pavarotti, my Audi A3 in New Zealand. Really? I never got him serviced and Franco was like, there's no reason it's breaking down. You don't do anything to fix him. And I said, he'll go. He'll keep going. And then one day he died. Of course it did. And then I got Stefano. So you've had Pavarotti, mm-hmm. Stefano. And now Gianni. Now Gianni. What was Stefano? Stefano was a Toyota Vitz and Franco hated me for it because he likes European cars. True. And so I got rid of Pavarotti. I said, mate, if you're not going to pay for it anymore, if you cut me off, I'm getting rid of Pavarotti and I'm getting a little what zip around. What was Pavarotti? An Audi A3. Fuck me, dude. And then was I that went, your first car? Yeah, and then I went to Stefano, Toyota Vitz. Yeah. And dad came up to Auckland, like kicked its tyres and went, piece of shit. And then it's it, not European. No, but it 
drove me around, great. And then I left and got to Sydney and then got Gianni. Because you are a Kiwi. Mm. And there is there is a cultural difference. Yeah. So I've got a few, few Aussie sayings for you to say. I like this one. Well, last time you just basically gave me sexual sayings that I couldn't pick up on. Oh, I gave you two sexual ones. What do you reckon a two-pot screamer is? Two-pot screamer. Two-pot screamer. I reckon that's when you've had, you've had dinner and you're so full, but you're like, fuck it, mate, always room for dessert. We've got a two-pot screamer. Like, you know, you have dessert and dinner. Dessert, dinner and dessert. Two-pot screamer. Fuck, I'm so full, but you know what? I'm feeling a bit naughty tonight. Two-pot screamer. All right, we're getting a tiramisu. We're getting a Sarah Lee cheesecake, guys. A Sarah? Sarah Lee? Oh. Sarah? Sarah? You've Sauron been, you, from Lord of the oh, Rings. Oh, fuck me. Sauron. Mordador. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Jesus, woman. You shall not pass. <laughs> you shall not pass. Boss! Oh, the bloody upsizes me. Yeah, sucker. Upstages. Uh, That was dead right. My precious. Precious. Stop it. Sucked in. Uh, Frodo, Mr. Frodo Baggins, sir. That was Samwell Guy's me, whatever his name is. (laughs) Samwell's fucking Gamgee. Yeah, that's it. Get it right. Mr. Frodo, sir. That's pretty good. That wasn't bad, yeah. You were dead right. Was I right? Not at all. Oh, it's um. Don't do that to me. <laughs> you see it in my eyes. I yeah, go. I did. So pumped. Uh, two pot screamer is someone who's a a light drunk. Gets pissed quickly. Oh. Yeah. Call them pots down south. Two tequilas and oh, on the floor. Like you. No. You're a two pot screamer. I'm judge. I'm a tank. No, no, no. I think what you are is you will get pissed, but you can maintain that consistent level of pissness yes. throughout the night. And I don't get like touch wood but like sloppy like I could be blackout and not remember anything but everyone would think I was pretty normal that night that's I'm the same but mm. as the boys were discussing on the weekend and as we we're discussing at Ned's Bucks there's a tipping point and I've I've got a tipping point yeah where I can't where it, it get yep yeah. like I can be I can be blackout drunk and everyone's like oh dude you didn't even seem that pissed thanks you didn't even seem that pissed and I was like mate I was Fucked up, and they're like, "Oh, you seem fine." Yeah. Then there's a tipping point in me where it's um, it's yeah, I just it gets rogue. Yeah. Real rogue. Yeah, I don't like that tipping point. I don't like being that that drunk anymore. I've been pretty good lately, pretty mature. <coughs> yeah. Not. Well, I'm nearly twenty nine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's so old. Like, I should be married with kids. Nah, that's a fifties mentality, mate. Yeah, true. Fuck it. Do whatever the fuck you want. I'll be at a festival at 45 front left. Out of the way, kids. Get me on your shoulders. Yeah, you will be. Probably. You'll be that, you know, that like, remember when, like, I don't go to clubs or anything anymore, but when I went to clubs and there was always, like, those old cunts who did show up and it was like, you know, it was just like, what are you doing? Mate, that's just rude. You can party when you're 50. You can, but. You could party when you're 80. But imagine being. Let loose out of the retirement village and go to. It's the studio on Potts Point. What do you reckon it is when you say, oh, it's easier than my mum in the 70s? This is a judge special. I believe that I came up with this. Easier than my mum in the 70s. 70s. Well, I'm going to go sexual because it seems similar to the last one. Easier than my mum in the 70s. Well, something. T- it's like you'd say, oh, I can do that job. Because it's easier than my mum in the 70s. Bedwetter. Bang on. You've the only it. reason I got that is because last time you said, fuller than mum on Father's Day. Correct. And it was similar. <laughs> and I just kept saying it, fuller than mum on Father's yeah, Day. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Trying to remember it. Yeah. Think of what it was. Think of what it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Same thing. So easier for you, than they'd say easier than dad in the 90s. <laughs> yeah, easier than my dad in the 90s. That's when daddy got his work done. Daddy went to work. Daddy went to work. Mummy went to work. I love calling myself daddy. Imagine if I just started calling myself mummy. Mummy's coming. Dude, that would be funny. No, you know, it doesn't it, work because I'm like... No, it does. Do you Because daddy doesn't work either. Because, you know, I'm like, I text you and I'm like, um, yeah, daddy will be there at 3 p.m. And then I just always send in brackets, I'm daddy, by the yeah. way. <laughs> Every time I'm like, I get Every the joke time. now. <laughs> Correct. I know. But that's the joke. That's the joke. So even if you were like, mummy will see you there, I'm yeah. mummy. 
by the way. Okay, I might start. It doing works. It. Perhaps I'll do it to my boss. Mm, no. Mildly inappropriate. Okay. Maybe just between friends. Maybe we'll have a friend thing. Starts DMing people. Mummy will be there. <laughs> For business-related things. <laughs> hey, Lou, we'd love you to come to this, this event on the 16th of um, November. <laughs> mummy will see you there, 8 p.m. sharp. I'm um, Mummy, by the way. And they're like, mm, <laughs> remove invite. What do you reckon a bush telly is? A bush telly. All right, I've got this one. That's like when you've gone out hunting for the day and you're like, fuck, mate, i got six sheep. Oh, I don't know what you shoot. Six Not ducks. sheep. Not sheep, sorry. I got I got six ducks today. What's your bush telly, mate? Oh, no, no, no. This is an accent thing. Bush telly. Not tally. I'm a fucking Australian. Tal, t- telly, like television. Oh, bush telly. Oh, okay, I thought you mean telly. That would have been, I would have been right if I'd said that one. Bush telly, okay. I think that's <laughs> like, um, all right, you've all just finished dinner round the, um, round the table. No, I imagine in the farms you watch it eating on your lap. <laughs> okay, so you're all sitting around the telly and um, and you take turns. It's like bush telly night. So your dad's like, guys, it's my turn tonight to pick what we're watching because, you know, you're in the bush and yeah, you're watching yeah. the telly. Yeah, right. So, you know, Monday night so might be dad. So you just think dad's. it's a television that's placed in, the, in a rural area. Yeah. Right. So and, you know, we- Tuesday night might be your night. Wednesday night might be Henry's. Thursday, Hot Will. Yeah, Friday night, your mums. To be clear, though, you just think it's just a any any television well, in the country is a bush telly. There's reasoning behind it. You know, you've all finished dinner, and then it's like, all right, bush telly night. Who's who's on tonight? All right, Hot Will, your turn. What do you want to watch? Oh, Dad, I want to watch Cheaper by the Dozen. <laughs> oh, and then Hot Henry, Hot, Hot Henry goes. No, well, we watched that two weeks ago. And then Jarch goes, I want to watch Two by the Dozen too. Shut the fuck up, Henry. Poof, no, if it's my night, it's, as I said, it's Debbie Does Dallas. You're 13. Dad, I want to watch <laughs> Debbie Does Dallas. As a family. Please. Please, again. Please. And your mum's like, no, we watched it last week, yeah, Jarch. Yeah, correct. And remember, Jarch, you're getting to that age. It became weird. Remember? <laughs> Fine. Can we do Pirates again, Mum? Yeah. <laughs> and not of the Caribbean. Um... <laughs> How awkward was it? Like when you're growing up, when you're in your formative years. Watching him. And you're watching some movie or something with your family and then they just start sucking and fucking and you're like, you, and the, you're dude, the tension, the, because your parents know <laughs> as well. You can yeah. tell they know. And you're trying to act cool and you're kind of like this. Yeah, you just uh, <clears throat> and then you, <clears throat> I might get a water. Yeah. I might get a water. What's for dessert? <laughs> Dad, pass the Maltesers. I would, I would happily just get up. <laughs> Pouring the Maltesers into my mouth. Get your fucking Jesus. head out of the gutter. Sorry, Lou. No, no, not get my me. head. Of get course you would pour the- fucking Maltesers in your yeah. mouth, you fucking garbage disposal. <laughs> Most people just eat them like this. <laughs> like this, Lou. No not one me. does this. Not me, <laughs> mate. I'll funnel them. I will funnel them into my mouth. And Frank, I said, no. Lou, Lou, could you stop deep throating the fucking Maltesers again? Sorry, Dad. Lou, pass the Maltesers. Dad, they're all gone. All gone. (laughs) Maltesers are goddamn good. Mm, Putting them in popcorn when you go to the movies. Oh, baby. Yeah, that's some good shit. Yum, yum. Hey, you couldn't, you were probably closer with Bush Tally. Oh, okay. It's a fire. When you're camping, when you're out camping, you light a fire. It's called the Bush Tally because. No, Bush Telly. Yeah, but what's that got to do with the fire? Because everyone sits around and watches the fire. Ah, uh, the campfire. It's the Bush Telly. Let's gather around the campfire and sing our campfire song. Our C A M P F R I E S O N G song. And if you don't sing it faster than and faster than you are, but it'll help if you just sing along. Bum, bum, bum. C A M P F R I E S O N G song. C A M P F R I E S O N G song. And if you Shut don't up. sing it faster than and faster than you are, it'll help Shut. if you'll just sing along. Bum, bum, bum. C A M P F R I E S O N G song. C A M P F R I E S O N G song. It'll help if you just sing along. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> That's from SpongeBob. <laughs> the campfire. They sit around the campfire, him and Patrick. <laughs> <sighs>
There's still a bit of the pod to go. You can't walk out yet. I can't. I won't. You shall not leave. <laughs> Did you get me an extra? Did, did you get me an extra week coffee? Because I'm all jacked up on Mountain Dew. I did get you. I I felt pathetic ordering it as well. I don't think it's weird. I went. I did the thing where it was like, what did she want? I walked. That's in, I, why you called me. No, 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 no. It wasn't. Oh. But I walked in there. I was like, hey, could I get it? And I go, what did she want? Oh, yeah, she wanted a um extra week because I didn't want her to think that that was my bullshit order. I go, oh yeah, she wanted an extra late week, uh, bloody long black, and I'll just get a regular long black cheese, darling. Yeah, I think that's what she wanted. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, was that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, perfect. it was. Wasn't for me. Should I call her and check if she wanted an extra? No, I think she did want to do week. <laughs> I made it overtly, abundantly clear that wasn't my order. I do the same when it's like, can I get this? Your coffee orders, blue. I know. I, I mix it up too. It's either an extra week long black, extra week ice long black with a dash of almond milk, extra, extra week, extra hot um, almond cappuccino. I just change it up. My barista and um, back where I live. <laughs> my barista was like, and what is it today, Lou? Because yeah, I'm crazy, man. Oh, yeah. But you, whoa, whoa, what is it today? Holy shit, is she going to go an ice long black? Is she going to go a cappuccino? Is she going to go an extra week arm and flat white? And she's coming up on the left and she's coming around the corner and she's going to grab her extra week ice long black with a dash of almond milk and she's having a sip and she's going for a walk. Me, can't. Did you do what has happened? Yeah, that's not weak. It's what's happened. Well, this leads into the next Aussie term. Perfect. Which is what you fucking are. Mm. Kangaroo short of the top paddy. Pardon? Kangaroo short of the top paddy. Kangaroo short of the top paddy. Paddock. Oh, sorry, paddock. Kangaroo short of the top paddock. Top paddock. Uh, if it's what I am. Fucking mental. Oh, yes. You're a kangaroo short. You're yes. a couple of kangaroo short. That makes sense, Judge. <laughs> Look at your eyes. <laughs> your eyes are this damn... You know what's going to happen in the DMs after this podcast? Everyone's going to go, Judge, how the fuck do you put up with her? That's what happens after every... You know what, though? You'd be a good cult leader. Your, your eyes are <laughs> scarily mesmerising, and they're like, there's something to them. Uh, I can't look away. Do you know what I am? I'm the snake that comes out of, like, the pot in those movies, and I go... And I like brainwash you. You're getting very sleepy. You go to bed after this? We'll get you to bed after this, I think. Remember that guy? I'm a snake. I love that I'm guy. a flithery little snake. snake. I'm a snake. I saw him on TikTok the other day and he's like, he was like, one thing I'll never be able to live down. And then it like plays his video. I'm Imagine being his dad. Or, well, there's nothing. Like, you know what I mean? Well, it, and that's like your son. Well, he went viral for it. Yeah, correct. Do you That's remember the, the little thing. girl who danced? It was genuinely me. And she did the dance where she flicks the lights on and off. She goes, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. And she's dancing in her room. Never seen it. Oh, it, You'll watch it and you'll go, holy fuck, that's Lou. Is it? Like, it's me to a T. Is it? Yeah, she's this little eight-year-old just dancing in her room, like little flashing the lights. Porky little fucker? Yeah, or? flashing the lights okay. on and off. Confidence through the roof. So confident, love it. But she shouldn't really have. No, she should have the confidence. Really She's rocking it. Probably those dance moves. Have that confidence. Well, she did. I've still got the confidence. No, you do. But Ain't nothing as, as bedwetters, as a collective of bedwetters, we're, we're breaking, breaking it down. down. We're bringing it down, bit little by bit. Yep. Let's um keep that keep that up, eh? Good work, bedwetters. Let's just tear me down. Yeah. <laughs> one by one by we'll one. We'll break her. We'll break her. I uploaded a um, video of me with KFC in the weekend, and someone, a guy, replied saying, um hottest thing on the earth or something and i said thanks and he goes i was talking about the chicken yeah yeah yeah. he said it was clearly that was a zinger yeah so i said oh yeah uh, i know me too i was talking about the hot the hot wicked wings and the hot zinger that was in and around my mouth the videos we put up last week um the way the angle i was sitting in the singlet i was wearing it would like it made me look like fat right mm. and a comment said because I'm in tremendous nick. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Are you? Not really, but I'm not in bad nick. And um, a comment was, one of the comments was, can't tell if man's is fat or not. It's it's freaking me out. If man's... The comments are so ruthless. Eh? <laughs> I'm are. getting roasted on one of my latest TikToks where I did like a lads group chat before a holiday. 
And I'm basically just being like, fuck, I'm keen. Fucking keen. So fucking keen, boys. Yeah. And, like, I'm not even kidding you. About 50 comments just from boys being like, said no lads chat ever. Have you ever seen a boys chat? Take this off. This is so shit. Oh, God. I'm like, Look, okay, yeah, I'll just go fuck myself. To be fair, if you're, if you're getting defensive about that as a bloke and you're willing to post a comment on TikTok, you're not one of the lads. No. And yeah. it is your group and, chat. And your lads chat is probably fucking toilet. I wanted to reply to a few of them being like, you're a fucking loser and you don't even have a lads chat. You should. I love drilling cunts on the internet. I just get worried, you know. Imagine if that like hurt their feelings and then they felt sad for a day. What, they're happy to fucking make you feel sad but you can't hit them back? Yeah, but I got tough skin, mate. You know, now that ain't going to break this stride. (laughs) You know. I know. You know. Okay, that's enough. Fuck can't. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. Is it too late now to say sorry? Okay. Oh my dad. Sorry, uh, sorry, uh, sorry. This is what. Ready. Right. And scene. Right, Judge. Welcome to Hinge Notes. Thank you. For October 2022. I love this fucking segment. I know you do. Let's kick it off with a celebrity impression, eh? A oh, uh, so what? A celebrity impression. Celebrity impression. One of our favourites. Okay, so this guy said, my best celebrity impression. Um, this is my impersonation of both Chewbacca and the bear from The Revenant. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> Quite good. Though. It is good. I like Do it. Do your best, bear. <laughs> Shit. That's how they actually sound. What, have you wrestled one? Oh, fuck. Well, you've never watched TV. That's not what they sound like. <laughs> That's, the one. Yeah. That's what they sound like. <laughs> that just sounds like you <laughs> orgasming. <laughs> Mate, what do you think I do? <laughs> <laughs> No, this is the beer. <laughs> that was. Oh, I don't like that guy. Yeah, I didn't mind it because he just knew it was dumb. That's that's what a hinge note should be. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he just cracked himself because he's like, "This is fucking stupid." Mm. I, you know how I've got my pterodactyl impression on mine. Yeah. Like, no one has, well, not that I even use Hinge. People just keep coming to me like, that's fucked. What is this of my pterodactyl really? impression? Yeah. People so, don't get it, mate. Don't worry about that. This guy has said, what if I told you that? Growing up, I'd only ever read the word chow. I thought it was pronounced siow. And even now, as an adult, when I know what it means, and I know how to say it, I still read it as siow. Yeah. Same as when I was reading Harry Potter, I thought it was Hermione. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It just, it was no movies or nothing. So I thought it was Hermione. <laughs> it's true, man. Yeah. Thought it was Hermione. I'm like, Ron, Harry and Hermione. <laughs> Walking down the fucking hill. <laughs> Hermione. Hermione. I've never heard the name fucking oh, Hermione. Oh, mate, that is so good. <laughs> Whoa, Hermione. Um, I, I, I thought on this guy's hinge night, I thought, not really worthy of a note, you know? That? Yeah. Yeah, you know. Probably not. Probably not. But same as circular key, that's circular like quay. Yes. You what know, did that I sort say of stuff. The other day I said something. Oh, I always say things wrong. Who am I kidding? You always. Always. Hey, this guy has said unusual skills. So I'll do voices that will just take me. Like I could do, um, I could do Stewie from Family Guy where you talk like this. Hi there, Brian. How are you? Oh, my goodness. Then you can switch up and you can be hi there, Mick, how are you doing? You look great. <laughs> uh, then you can do like Tom Hardy where you're like, um, all right, that's on me. Yeah, you look your well son. yeah. You look oh, after Lord. yourself, Tom. He's a good boy that one, yeah, yeah. So I got a f- He's good. He's bloody good. He's bloody good. What's up to you, Slois? Not bad. Stewie. 
Well, that's useless, mum. Mum. Mummy. Mum. 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 Mama. Set scene. Mum. Mama. 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 What? Hi. <laughs> Dude. That's that, useless. Lois. Yeah, not bad. Lois, okay. Peter Crufflin. That's pretty good, Lou. Do, do yours. Go away, fat man. I think I was better. Yeah, I reckon you got me. Yes! Wrecked by Stewie. Finally. Finally an accent I'm better at. Yeah, I got wrecked. Yeah. What do you mean, fat man? Wait, I'm fucking good. What do you mean, fat man, Judge? <laughs> what the deuce, Lois? Yeah. You stupid woman. <laughs> what the deuce? <laughs> Come over here, Lois. What the juice? What the juice? I bet you can do Peter. Nah. I I really struggle. Do you know what we need to do? Quagmire. Well, yeah, Lois. Nah, it's tough. What we need to do is someone did mention this before, is that we do we get which they or maybe the bedwetters can send in a fucking impression. And we have the week to try to and do that. our best version of it. Yes. DM us what we have to learn to say next week. Do you know what I mean? Week. Just to, so an impression of a character. that we both have to do. So we've got to do our best version of that one that one impression. I yeah. reckon that's the guy. Okay, DM us what you reckon we should do. And we'll pick, we'll pick one. Yeah, um, I like that. <laughs> and we're back on the hotline. What the bad wetters want to see today. Yeah, how you going there, Shaggers? Um, you just saw Lou's uh, Instagram about Aladdin and it just had me going off. A thought came to my mind, sorry. Um, when Lou does her, um, you know, or well, she calls it singing, but we call it death-defying experience, um, or maybe to, to end the actual performance, maybe a duet with uh, Jarchi involved, maybe from Aladdin, you know, like, a whole new world or something. What are your thoughts? I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Imagine if we got up there. A whole new world. Oh, fuck, Lou, I love you. With headphones on, we can't be singing. A new fantastic point of view. That obviously resonated. No one could tell you no. Which way to This is go. getting awful close to another fucking walkout. Okay, one more from the hotline and then we better go because we've been talking a lot. Yum, yum. Okay. Hey, Louis. Mm. Lasagna face. Lasagna face. There you go, you mad dog. <laughs> hey, I've got a little uh, red light, green light here for you. Putting rubbish in your neighbour's bin on bin night. Green. Because yours is full. Green. Fucking yeah or no? Green. Fucking maggot that lives beside us every fucking bin night. Fucking overchocks me bin, eh? <laughs> Oh, he's, he's off it. Yeah, he's, I'm green. Mate, I'm green. Fuck it. Because, like, you know what I mean? They're getting picked up, so they're there anyway. But in saying that, if a bin is too overfull or too hard, I've had them fucking leave it. So if some cunt's overchocking your bins to the yeah. point where they go, fuck this idiot, I've had them leave the bin. Yeah. Do you take your own bins out? Yeah. Because I live in an apartment block. It's just like a magical person who does it for oh, me. Oh, true. That's handy. Yeah, who no, does that. it? Who does it for me? Well, some strata fucking person. Because I ain't doing it. Where are your bins? Downstairs, and I'm just throwing shit into any bin. Oh, true. And then I go outside, and the bins are on the road. Really? I'd forget if I had to do it myself. Like, I'd need a reminder being like, bin night! Yeah, but because they get so full, it's like ingrained in you not to. Because you're like, otherwise we're going to go a full fucking week here. How cute is bin night? What? Like, the bins just out on the road, like, having a little, like, slumber party. <laughs> Jesus. Like, you know, like sometimes the red and yellow are together, sometimes it's green and yellow. I think we've got to get you home to bed, buddy. Yeah. I think. It's enough? Uh, yeah, I think we've got to get the you. The bins are going, no, no, and their little flats are going, boop, boop. <laughs> okay. You want mushrooms? I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps. I think it's green. Uh, it's green to a, an extent, to a yeah. point. Hey, could I sleep next to you tonight? Righto, thanks for listening, everyone. You know, uh, it's a <laughs> been a bloody good potty. Uh, fucking wild one. I'm of so sorry. I'm so. Actually, I'm not sorry. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say sorry for being me.
You should. You know? You should a lot. I'm not going to change for anyone. I'm not going to say sorry for being who I am. And anyone out there listening, never change you and never dull your own spark. If you like Lou, dull it a bit. Dull no. it a bit. Yeah. No. Dull it. Don't. Dull, you know what? Dull the fuck out of it. No. Don't be yourself. Uh. Okay. That Louisa Dalton on uh, TikTok and Instagram. Yeah, at uh, we. Jarchi, at, at we mean well. At we mean well. And you know what they say? What do they reckon? The, to get on on the what? If you if you've got a bed wet with and they're on. <sighs> yeah, fine. Yeah. Alright, Bye.